Their ongoing tragedy in Gaza, innocent lives in peril. In recent weeks, Gaza has witnessed a heart wrenching humanitarian crisis, marked by the loss of innocent lives, particularly children. The Israeli military offensive in the region has led to the deaths of at least 724 Palestinian children, constituting one third of the total casualties. This catastrophic toll continues to rise as Israeli authorities severely restrict the flow of vital resources, including food, fuel, electricity, water, and medical supplies into Gaza. The situation in Gaza has led to growing concerns of genocide, as Israeli military assaults seem designed to inflict large-scale casualties. Additionally, the complete closure of Gaza only reinforces the belief that the aim is to obliterate Palestinian life in the region. One alarming development was the Israeli military's evacuation order for 1.1 million Palestinians in northern Gaza. The 24-hour evacuation window caused mass panic as families attempted to flee southwards. However, the absence of safe routes, coupled with destroyed infrastructure and ongoing Israeli airstrikes, has created a dire and harrowing situation for these displaced families. The international community has a role to play in this crisis. As the US and the European Union continue their passive stance, they inadvertently enable the Israeli military's actions and contribute to the eradication of Palestinian lives. These words from those affected by the crisis underscore the dire circumstances. My four children are eating one meal a day, sandwiches. There is no water, no electricity, no internet, no fuel in all of Gaza. We are isolated people facing the fiercest war machines. The situation intensified when Israeli forces launched a massive military offensive following rocket attacks by Palestinian armed groups. The current military operation, known as Operation Iron Swords, has resulted in the deaths of at least 1,799 Palestinians, including 583 children, in the Gaza Strip since Saturday morning. Furthermore, Israeli forces have killed eight Palestinian children in the occupied West Bank since October 7. Out of the 583 Palestinian children killed, 105 have been independently documented and verified by Defense for Children International, Palestine. The dire circumstances in Gaza, including a lack of electricity, damaged telecommunications infrastructure, and a significant delay in reporting child fatalities, highlight the urgency of the situation. Mass displacement has escalated, with over 423,378 people in Gaza forced to leave their homes. The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, UNICA, reports that more than 262,000 internally displaced Palestinians are sheltered in UN schools, while over 153,000 Palestinians are hosted by relatives and neighbors due to destroyed or damaged homes. Israeli authorities have implemented a harsh closure policy against Gaza, including the Qutaf of electricity, the blockade of food and fuel, and the cessation of the water supply. Indiscriminate Israeli airstrikes have damaged infrastructure, including vital water and sanitation facilities, exacerbating the already dire humanitarian crisis. The situation highlights the urgent need for international intervention to prevent further loss of life and alleviate the suffering of the people in Gaza. Genocide must be unequivocally condemned under international law, and the indiscriminate attacks against civilians and civilian objects must cease. The closure policy that has persisted since 2007 is causing untold human suffering. Israel's strict control over Gaza's borders, airspace, and territorial waters continues to exacerbate this already dire crisis. It is vital for the international community to address this crisis with the urgency and seriousness it warrants, striving for a peaceful resolution that respects human rights and safeguards innocent lives.